everybody, welcome to another one of my video podcasts. I'm Utini from GayGamer.net, and as you can see from my very special t-shirt that I'm wearing that does not actually fit me, uh, I'm celebrating the third anniversary of the release of Nintendo's Wii Fit. So my body is in fact by Nintendo. Ta-da! Um, I mean, if you've been reading the site for any period of time from back three years ago, you know about my diaries. And I posted an article on the site today, Monday, so that, you know, to recap again. So I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to say, body by Nintendo. And I love my Wii Fit, and I may not use it that much anymore, but it's still... It's still what got me to lose the 45 pounds and stay fit now. So, um, I don't look as old as I um, but I'm not going to go on about Wii Fit here. That's for the article on the site, which you can find, uh, there. Um, I'm here to talk about what else I've been playing besides my fitness games. Um, and that is, uh, the finishing of Portal 2, uh, which I did just in time for the release of L.A. Noir. Um, and I have to say that Portal 2 was fantastic. Um, it was longer than I expected which is good, since it was a full retail release, which I got on sale, but still, full retail release, it should be a decent amount of gameplay. Um, and then also, I noticed that there's a lot of um, achievements for doing specific things during specific tests, which, you know, when you're doing them, you don't think to do that. Uh, so you can go back, play it again, and earn achievements, and I think there might be some different ways to do different tests. Which is interesting, because when you're trying to figure it out, and you think, wait, oh, if I do this, and then I do that, then I can, you know, and you think that's your solution. So the idea that there's more than one of those is a little bit saddening to me, because it takes me so long sometimes to come up with the solution that I feel so clever, and I'm like, so there's two things I could have thought of, and I still can't think of the other? And that's not right. Um, but it's a good game. I haven't yet haven't yet had a chance to try the co-op, but, um, I know plenty of people who have it, um, I've had a couple of requests on Xbox Live, people saying, hey, and, uh, problem is I've been playing L.A. Noir, so I haven't, I've kind of postponed Portal 2 co-op, which is fine, because the way I look at it is, I enjoyed Portal 2, ending was fantastic, uh, except for, except for the, um, the very last, you know, the boss battle, um, I just found, like, that's where you needed to be fast, because there's a time limit, and that's where the controls kind of, I felt like they fought against me. Um, I just, I, suddenly, all of a sudden, I felt, like, super uncoordinated, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Um, but, and the end song was not as good as Still Alive, but, you know, how is that going to happen? Um, uh, but then, I can play L.A. Noir then go back and play some Portal co-op to, you know, extend the life of Portal 2 and go back and enjoy some more Portal. Um, but, uh, yeah, because I'm not stopping L.A. Noir because it's pretty awesome. Um, I am a little annoyed that um, I just sort of instinctively bought it for the 360 because I thought that the pre-order bonuses were based on the retailer at which you pre-ordered it, whether it was Best Buy, gives you a gift card and a gun, I went with GameStop because it gave you, um, I think it gave you a gun, but it also gave you a, like, a, a vice case. And, uh, like, Target had, like, a, a traffic desk case or something. So, um, all of those cases, Rockstar has said, is gonna, are going to be available later as, you know, DLC that you can buy. Um, but I didn't realize until now, after I've already bought the game, almost a week later, that, um... The PS3 had an exclusive case that the 360 didn't have, which is annoying, but whatever. I also wish I'd gotten the PS3 because I didn't think... I didn't even realize it was coming on multiple discs. Because that doesn't really happen so much anymore. So when I opened up the case to put the disc in, and I'm like, ah, there's multiple discs. Crap, I had no idea. Like, at no point did I, did I read anything about it coming on multiple discs. Because then I would have gone for the PS3 version anyway, just so that I could have it on the one Blu-ray. Um... But, what are you going to do? Because I don't really care about achievements. I mean, I like to get them, 
but if I got them as trophies, I don't really care. Like, I'm not one of those people who needs to, like, get the highest number, because I will never get the highest number, because I'm never going to get all the achievements, because I'm just not skilled enough to get some of them, like in Rock Band and stuff. There's all those stuff you can get for playing it on Expert. I can barely play them on Hard, so I will never get those achievements. Not ever, ever, ever. But, uh, I'm, uh, I'm loving L.A. Noir. Um, it's a little linear. It's more linear than I was expecting it to be. Um, because there are extra things. There's street crimes that happen, and then there's, um, like, there's street crimes, and then there's, uh, like, because I ordered a GameStop that came with a special, like, badge, and there's all these badges that you have to find scattered around the city. There's also film reels, which I have not found any of yet, because the game doesn't really, um, it doesn't really set you to exploring, like in the Grand Theft Auto or the Red, De Red Dead Redemption, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I speak good English. Um, where you had, like, a home base, and then you would go to, like, oh, you'd have, like, maybe one, two, or even three missions. There were multiple people who could give you missions, so that you would head over to them to get a mission, and then they would, on your way, you'd run into a random thing, or you'd be like, oh, let me go hunt down this animal and get the pelt so I can get that score or whatever, you know. Um, you'd run into random things, whereas here, because it's your job, you're just a cop, there's no, you, you're always on the job, there's no wandering about on your, there's no off-duty scenes, at least not yet, but I don't expect there to be. So you'll be on your way to a crime scene, and suddenly there's a random uh, call, and you're like, oh, I have to go and do this random crime, you know, and sometimes they're way out of the way, and I would be like, no, nah, I don't feel like it right now. But then, I kind of enjoy them, because they're very, like, straightforward, just, like, shoot them up, or car chase, or foot, foot race, whatever. So, like, they're kind of fun to do. So I've been, I've been doing more of those, but, um, even in doing those, like, you don't walk around and explore the city, really, because you're always, like, on a case, and even though I know that, realistically, I can explore the entire damned city and then go investigate the crime scene, there's still a part of me in my brain that just says, like, I have to go investigate this crime scene. That's my job. I need to go do that. And I don't want to waste hours and hours doing that. Or if, like, you know, oh, we better go question this suspect. It's like, even though the game will let you wander around and do all kinds of random stuff and spend days doing that before going to question the suspect. And that suspect will still be sitting in their house waiting for you to come and question them. You know, that's just how the game is programmed. In my mind, the way my mind is programmed, I can't do that. Like, I just feel like I have to go get that guy, you know? And I feel like in between cases is when I would like to go and explore the city and then go back to the police station to say, okay, what's the next case? But you don't really get to choose when you get to do your job. It's your job, and you have to do it. So, um, that's a little, you know, it's a little off-putting. Like, I, I want to explore the city, but the game is so linear that it keeps pushing you forward, and I keep just going with it, because the story is really compelling. There's some subplots going on that I'm not quite sure what they mean, but I'm sure it'll all tie in later on. Um... And it's also answered a, a question that I had from previously when I saw the demo at PAX, and then they demoed the same case uh, at the Tribeca Film Festival, but they did the whole case at the Tribeca Film Festival, and you saw how it ended. Um, so I knew that there were other things that I was like, why didn't they go and do this? So when I played that case in the game, um, I did those things that I was like, hmm, let me try this. So, you know... I still ended up with the same outcome, I just had a slightly different path getting there. Um, and the ending of that case, which, when I saw them play it, I said, that doesn't make good logical sense, so um, playing it here, it still makes no logical sense, but then when you get to the next case, you're like, okay, I see what they're doing. No spoilers, no spoilers here. Um, but it's a terrific game, I'm looking forward to it, and it's also a game where I feel like I mean, they've already got DLC cases that um, were the pre-order offers, but I'm looking forward to seeing like even more cases, because I feel like they could just keep making cases, and I would download those. I mean, as long as they were like of, of a reasonable length, because that's my problem with the DLC missions for games, is that they, they tend to be 
not worth the money that they cost to buy. Um, like, the Mass Effect missions have been like, mm. and I justify it by just because I love Mass Effect so desperately much that I don't care. Any more Mass Effect is good, though it's a little pricey. Um, so that's it for this week. I've just been playing L.A. Noir, playing the hell out of it. Um, it's great. It's really good. I recommend it. Uh, so far. I mean, it could all fall apart in the end, I don't know. But, uh, hopefully not. Um, and this might even be the first Rockstar game that I ever actually finish. Because I never finished any of the Grand Theft Autos or, like, Red Dead. Like, because I always hit that point at which I have one mission left in order to open up the next section of the game, and it's just so hard that I can't pass that mission, and I eventually get frustrated. Or in the case of Red Dead Redemption, I got so sidetracked doing, like, random stuff that I lost focus of the story and kind of lost interest in the story. So that's one of those games that I keep meaning to go back to. There's a lot of those. A lot of those. So I almost wish there had been a Rapture so that, like, I'd have time to play all my games that I've never been able to finish. Although I guess if there was a Rapture and there started having earthquakes and stuff, then I guess the power would go out and then I would not be able to play video games at all. I'd be running from zombies and locusts or whatever. So, um... Oh well. Good that there wasn't a Rapture. I just need a vacation then. Vacation! Um... But, yeah, there's none of those in the schedule, because E3's coming up, so we'll talk about that next week. Bye!